Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Draw Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix Black Myth Wukong is having crushing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of these is right now and how we can fix this app. So the game is available right now and I played it for around 20 times. I had one time the crashing issue, but it was fixed when I updated the graphics card. So that is why I'm addressing the issue. So let me directly get into the step. The first one is all about we have to do a restart. So the first one, just go over here in the start icon and click on this one. Go for this particular icon and go for restart. You know, sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. So that is why I'm recommending you can try a simple restart. So once the restart is done, we just need to move to the next step. Next step is all about, hence launching from the Steam might be the issue. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from Steam. So that is why we are having the issue. So we have two methods. We have a shortcut from the Steam that we can navigate to the installation folder or we can navigate to the installation folder directly using the file explorer. So I'll be showing you both. So just go over here and right click and go to the properties install it file and just click on the browse now you will be getting a folder like this, this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam amps common black myth wukong so this is the folder so we have to launch the game from here so try launch the game from here not from the steam launch the game from the installation folder this will be working in most cases apart from the shortcut like i said there is also another way that we just need to go over here just go to the file explorer we have to navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam Amps, go to Common, and from here we have to navigate to Black Myth. Go over here to Black Myth Wukong. You can also try launch the game from here as well. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try launch the game from the installation folder. Third step is all about we have to run the game as administrator and also we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. Hence, we are in the installation folder. You can do it from here. Just select the exe, right click over here, go to the uh, properties, navigate to the compatibility, click on run this program as administrator. First one, go for apply and go for OK. After that, still if you are having the stuttering and lagging issue, right click over here once again, go to show more option, properties compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode set this to windows 7 you have to set this to windows 7 go for apply and go for ok once everything has been set just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game that is what you have to do move to the next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab so just click on the play button and press alt and tab so most probably playing the uh, and playing the alt and tab i don't know how this is related but even for many users when they launch the game and press alt and tab they were completely fixed the issues such as crashing so you can try this out next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer and we have to navigate to the uh, over here go to this pc we have to navigate to uh, over here go to the documents over here, as you can see, I'm having few folders like American Truck Simulator, Madden, F NFL 25, once human Rockstar games, which I usually used to play a lot. So these games, when I used to save each stages of the game, they used to be generated a folder like this. So you'll be having the folder for the Black Myth Wukong when you start playing the game and saving it. So you'll be having a folder like this. So you have to delete the respective folder. So you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. But even though it's done with that, you just go back after deleting, you can try and launch the game. This even work it. So I found this from the Reddit. So that's why I'm recommending you can try this out. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate over here and search for the control panel. Just go over here in the control panel. We have to navigate to system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall now from here we have to add the game so just keep scrolling down and we have to check whether the game is added so as you can see the black myth wukong is already added and make sure both the private and public both has to be marked so over here as you can see the both is marked that is the bluetooth i mean uh, the black myth uh, black myth wukong is both is marked so imagine if the game is not here what you need to do is we just need to add the game so the next one just click on the chain setting if you don't know how to add just follow the step click on allow another app go for the browse Navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to the program file x86, 
go for steam and we have to navigate to steam amps go to the common from here we have to navigate to the game black with mukong select this one and we have to go for add it so i have already added the game it is fine with it if you don't have the game you just do like this and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about we have to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of peripherals for example right now on my pc which i'm using right now it's already connected to two external joysticks so instead of depending on the keyboard i used to play with the joystick so i have to unplug every these kind of things the unplug all the external devices so once the game is successfully launched you can connect it back and try continue playing the game and this even worked for many users as well next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search and go for system configuration just search for the system configuration now go over here navigate to the services go for disable or go for hide all microsoft services and go for apply and go for okay so now they're going to ask you for restart so the users are watching this you have to go for exit uh, go for restart but hence we're in the middle of shooting so i don't want to get interrupted so i'm go for exit without restart but the users are watching this you have to go for restart once afterwards try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay if it is enabled so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties make sure if the enable the steam overlay while in the game if it's enabled we have to disable this and we have to try launch the game next one is we have to go over here and we have to give the uh, commands in the launch option so this particular giving the commands in the launch option helped many users in my knowledge so that is why i recommend you can try this or not for this game but even for many games in my knowledge so the first command is we have to try giving dx11 try launch the game so if dx11 is not working try this to dx12 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working dx12 is not working try giving the command d3 d2 you have to try giving the command d3 d2 you can try giving the command d3 d2 and try launch the game so either the dx11 will be working or the dx12 will be working or we have to try with d3 d2 all these three things will be working in most cases in my knowledge so once afterwards just close everything and try still if you are having the if you are having the issue you can try the next one that is all about nothing but we have to uh, close the old overlay application which is very important like i said so just go over here in the game right click over here and we have to go over here in the task manager so most probably when you turn on your computer the moment you are trying to launch these game the kind of game if your pc is running with a mid or low end configuration you will be definitely have in the crashing shape because all these things running in the background for example you can check that your ea is running in the background epic games launcher is running in the background so all these are actually utilizing the performance of my computer so that is why i'm having the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to go over here and cross check whether big things are running in the background for example ea app epic games store even discord reward you know msc afterburner all these things you have to remove everything and once you remove everything we just need to go back and we have to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to go for the graphics settings we just need to go over here in the graphics settings now from here we have to add the game as you can see i have already used to play many games like including seven days to die back for blood all so added here the same way i have to add the game just click on the browse now we just need to navigate to this pc we have to navigate to local disc c go to the program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam amps go to the common now from here we have to navigate to black with wukong select this one and we have to go for add so once it's added just go to the option from let windows decide change this to high performance that is nvidia geoforce rtx 2080 with max q design this should be changed to this go for save and once everything is done just close everything and we have to try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we have to increase the virtual memory so uh, in order to increase the virtual memory we just need to go over here and search for view advanced and system setting go over here navigate to the advanced go for settings once again go to the advanced once again go for change make sure this is unchecked and you have to select the local disk if the game is installed on c for example i am having only c so i have selected c if you uncheck check this you will not be able to select the local disk so uncheck this and select the local disk where you install the game go for the custom size and we have to give the value for initial size as well as the maximum size so we need to know the ram so if you don't know how to check the ram just go over here in the settings go over here in the system 
keep scrolling down and go to the about so over here you will be able to understood that is the installed ram is 32 gb and it is of 64 bit operating system which is x64 based one so just close this one we have to go over here we need a calculator so let me go to the calculator so we have to give the value for here the first one we have to type the ram of computer that is 32 gb and you have to multiply with the constant value 1024 so just type your ram and multiply with the 1024 that brings you this particular value and multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it Moving to the next one 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this particular value and we have to paste it as well so once everything is in go for set and we have to go for ok over here and once every value has been set just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game most probably increasing the virtual memory did work in for many users in my knowledge so you can try this out as well next comes the most important thing that is all about updating the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia so uh, over here you can go to the nvidia so the users who can go over here so now you can find the drivers from here you can just find the drivers so you can go and you can uh, get all the drivers regarding the softwares and all can be found from here. So you can select everything like whether you are on GeForce, you can select the GeForce. If you are on GeForce, you can select GeForce. If you are on 14 series, select this one. If you are on 13 series, you can select accordingly based on your PC's configuration. And you can select if you are on 4090D. If you are on Windows 11, go for Windows 11. If you are on Windows 10, go for Windows 10 and go for Find. So once you go over here, most probably you'll be able to get, uh, you know, uh, the available uh, download available one with this 516.81, which is released on August 6th, 2024, which is around 7.01.16 MD. You can download this one. So uh, this is the uh, the right one. You can download this particular one. You can install this one and try launching the game. If you're having an issue with the graphics card, most probably that's going to help you guys out. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here in this particular page and you can select the fear for the graphics. You can select the Arduino RX if you're on its one and mine is, uh, my previous one is 500 and you have to select, select according to your configuration. So if you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one based on your 64-bit configuration. You can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ which even work in many users so you have to know what is the type of a computer. So mine is x64 based one so I have to download this one and if the system is based on x86 you can download this one and most probably the newly released all the PCs which is coming out is all on x64 you can download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. And last two steps, which is very important one is all about, we have to verify the integrity of game file because if the game files are corrupted, you'll be having these kind of issues such as crashing, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, black screen, even many issue. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties go over here in the installed file and there is an option called verify integrity of game file so just click on this one so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issue which usually happens you know that is why we have to fix this up so try this so i'll be showing you what you have to do after this reach 100 percentage So once every file is successfully validated, you can just close everything and try launch the game. So that is going to fix the issue as well. 
Last and the least step is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, if you have already installed the game on local disk C, you can try a new local disk if you have a multiple local disk. So these are some of the possible workarounds that can be done when it comes to how to fix this and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.